Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this olive smoky, glam look. First, I'm going to prime my eyes with some concealer and then I'm going to jump into the new Supreme Nudes Artist Couture Palette. I was so excited to use this. It's actually the first time I am trying this palette. I'm going to take this really delicious mustardy yellow brown color. <laughs> it's called Eccentric. I love this shade. It's so pigmented and so creamy and I'm really packing this color on like I'm picking a lot of it up on the brush because I want those matte shades in my crease to be pretty intense since we are gonna be cutting the crease with some concealer I want to make sure I'm packing this crease shade on my crease so I'm just slowly building that color up since it is a matte very pigmented shade I do spend a lot of time blending out the edges making sure there are no harsh lines And I'm slowly building the color up so that it doesn't look like too intense all at once But yeah, I want a lot of this color on my eyes <laughs> Okay, now I'm going into the shade Transcend. It's another matte crease shade, but Eccentric is very, very yellow, and this one leans a little bit more pink. So I am adding a little bit of this on the outer corners and in my crease as well. Going into the darkest shade in the palette, I'm pretty much gonna be doing the exact same thing I did with Transcend, the previous shade, focusing this color in the outer corners, and I am dragging it into the crease just a little bit, but really focusing on the outer corners. You guys know this is pretty much uh, my go-to technique. I always apply my eyeshadow in a very similar way. Going back into Eccentric, Eccentric, I feel like I say that word weird. I'm applying this color into my crease, blending everything out, making sure everything is nice and seamless and they're all blended together. Now I'm going into this matte creamy shade. It's called Exposed and I'm using this to highlight underneath my brow bone. My eyebrows guys, wow. They are wolfen. I'm taking some of my Jouer um, Essential High Coverage Concealer. This is the concealer I used as a primer, and I'm carving out my crease with this concealer, and I'm using an Alamar brush, but I'm just carving out the natural shape of my eye, taking it slightly higher right there where I'm, where I'm passing the brush right now. I'm taking it slightly above the crease there, but it's pretty much like the exact shape of my eye. Now I'm taking my favorite shade in the palette. This is Lavish, and I'm applying that directly on top where I applied the concealer. I love this shade it's a really unique gold because it has such a strong green undertone but after that i'm taking the shade supreme which is the really pretty olive shimmery green it's so nice and i'm applying that where the matte brown and the lavish shade meet so towards the back of the eye and i'm applying this so it kind of looks like a gradient from the gold to the green to the brown and then I'm going back into the matte brown, it's called Mink, and I am just intensifying the outer corners. I took a makeup wipe and I cleaned up any of the fallout I had under my eyes. And then I took my Ilia Midnight Express Clean Line Liquid Liner and I used this to create a nice thick black wing. And I'm still testing out this formula. It is really nice, it's easy to use. It's not super, super black, but it is really matte. I like it. Then I went in with my Kiss Falsies. Um, these are the faux mink lashes. They have the boudoir ones, I believe. That's what they're called. And I just popped those on with my Tarte lash applicator and then I went in with some mascara this is the bad bitch laugh bad bitch lash from wet and wild and I did not apply my lashes correctly on one eye so it looks like my eyeliner is wonky but that's because my lashes are wonky <laughs> so anyway I'm going in with some primer this is the Tatcha silk canvas the liquid silk canvas of course the new one I'm still testing it out I think I like it but I mean I like the original as well I'm going in with the makeup forever reboot foundation I have been using this one a lot recently testing it out more and I think I really really like it it's such a natural lightweight foundation that like I, I can't really find anything bad about it it's just like a good standard everyday foundation going in with my trusty not crusty favorite concealer this is the Jouer essential high coverage concealer I've been using my dose of colors one so much I decided to bust this one out again because it is my fave Thank you. 
Now that I have foundation and concealer on, I'm gonna finish up the eyes. I'm gonna work on my lower lash line and I'm gonna use the first shade we put down in my crease, the matte, creamy, delicious yellowy shade. And I'm pretty much gonna put all of the shades I put on my lid on my lower lash line. I want it nice and smoky under there. For my waterline, I took the Charlotte Tilbury Green Lights Eyeliner and I took the metallic shade and lined my waterline to really make the green shades pop. <laughs> To make things even smokier, I took a bit of the mink shade and buffed that right on top of that green eyeliner. Well, like not on top of the waterline, but directly under it to yeah, deepen up the look. And then I topped it off with some mascara. For my inner corners, I took the shade Lavish and just popped that on with a little pencil brush. And I love this color in the inner corners. It's so pretty. And I also dragged some of that shade like on my lower lash line as well, as you saw right now. For bronzer, I went in with my Kiko Milano Green Bronzer. I used a Kiko bronzer the other day that inspired me to use this one. This one smells so good. It smells just like the Too Faced Chocolate bronzers like the exact same for blush i used this semi new blush duo from jouet it's in the shade darling and i don't love this one as much as i love her other blush duo this one is a little bit too light for me i love the adore me one that one is super nice but this one is just a little bit too light but it's i mean it's pretty going in with a little bit of the kevin aquan sculpting powder just to contour my face a little bit chisel out the cheeks a little bit more since i did go a little bit heavier on the eyes i wanted to sculpt the face a little bit more and then for highlight i'm using the artist couture coco bling highlight i had never used this one before i love the artist couture the artist couture highlights but i had never tried this one and it's really really intense but so pretty i am setting my face with the fenty beauty setting spray and then for my lip I'm going in with the Alamar Cosmetics Dulce lip liner and I'm overdrawing my lips with this shade and also filling in my lips like my entire lips with it and then on top of that, I'm using the Artist Couture lipstick in the shade Boy Toy. Sassy Gal, Saucy Gal would have been perfect, but I used it the other day in a video. So I'm using Boy Toy today. And then that's it, guys. That completes this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.